well, absolute chaos erupted in the last five minutes. We've had fighting, we've had the Birmingham boy dragging his carcass off. You can see he's taking it deep into the thicket. He's not having any of it. He lost his temper completely and threw, sort of chased everybody around, picked up the carcass and is now dragging it deep into the thickets to try and hide it away. So he's basically said, enough of all of you. I'm done. I'm taking my carcass into the bush and I'm leaving you all behind. And there was a big fight between him and one of the cubs and he gave the cub a serious hiding. And now you can see all the lionesses stood up and they've now come back to where this carcass is to try and see if there isn't any scraps that they can potentially feed at. So now that he's taken the carcass away, the rest of them can then try and see if there's something that they can eat. He doesn't let any of these lionesses anywhere near the carcass at this point. Now, Ferg, this lioness standing up here, if you can just zoom in on her teats for me, please. Is she the one who's got milk? No. No suckle marks there. I thought for a second, just the way she was standing, that it could have been her that's got the cubs, but it's not her. No. Right, so we'll have to just keep watching. In all the chaos, every time he chases them, I forget to look who's got suckle marks and who's the actual sort of lioness is with the cub, but hopefully in time we will. You can see she's got quite a few bite wounds on her leg as well, towards her sort of ankle part of this back. I just want to zoom in on the full cub sneaking in here. So this cub that's being very cheeky. Be careful. We're going to have a situation where that bush is just shaking and hopefully there's not going to be a big male lion coming out of the bush. Now the cubs are cheeky. One by one they're starting to go there. And it seems like Tinio is on his way back this side. He's just pushed the carcass in there just to cover it up for now. But let's see because you see this cub? This cub is sort of playing quay. Tinio is just behind that bush at the moment. And the cub is just there where he is. I've just quickly gone past him. Well done. It is so cool to find lions like this when their lions are on a kill there's so much activity that goes on and so much sort of behavior that we don't see often from them when they lying down they generally are quite sort of lazy and don't do too much but in situations like this it's just such an interesting study of the dynamics and that female at the back has got to be one of the most beautiful females look at how perfect her condition is So Davina, you're wondering if the moms will step in to protect the cubs from the males. Well, in this situation, no, because the females have all been given a hiding as well since we've been here. They've all been pinned down and scratched and bits. And you can actually see this female walking away from us. If we look at her tail area, look at how many bite marks she's got there. And there's fresh ones, there's claw marks. So you can see just on the right of her tail, just go a little bit to the right there, Ferg. There you go, you can see a fresh little nick there. So they've all been hit by this male this morning as well. And so they probably just as nervous as well. He, they know that also with that male is that it's just a show of bravado. And with the cub, he pinned it down, but he didn't actually do anything to her. He didn't hurt that cub in any way or try and actually bite or claw it. It was just more of a, a display and a show of exactly how powerful he is and how much dominance he does have. So it wasn't really aimed at trying to kill the cub. It's more just to show them that he is the dominant individual within this grouping. Right, now I think we'll probably find that Tinio is now going to lie down, but the rest of the pride here should be still quite active, so we'll spend a little bit longer with them. And while we do that, I believe Cheetah, Cheetah, no, James is not a <laughs> cheetah, but James does have a cheetah and it is looking very regal.